So the main body is 5052 uh, aluminum. I TIG welded it together. These are some of my very first TIG welds. These brackets, these track brackets are steel. And uh, these, truth be told, these were ground apart and re-welded a couple of times. One of them was anyway, because it was a little bit too long. Um, kind of regret not having track tensioners, but eventually I got it right. I took a lot of time getting position right on everything and carefully marking it out so it would all line up when I drilled the holes. So I was careful to make sure everything was straight and square and true as possible. Drilled the holes. That's just an alignment hole to make sure that the other bigger holes get drilled properly. Because clamps by themselves aren't going to keep everything in the correct position. And that's just some of the assembly that you can't see when it's all put together. One of those track brackets had to be cut and re-welded so that it was about half a centimeter shorter than the other one. So one is shorter than the other. One is uh, 30 centimeters on center and the other one's 29 and a half right around there. So after all of the working and reworking of the track brackets, I sure was happy to finally get a test of the tracks and the motors running and after all I'm happy with the uh, drive chain tension the track chain tension and the positioning of the tracks is good it's the alignment is is good and straight and I'm I'm happy with it it would, took a, a lot of work to get it that way but I got it and I'm happy with it the results are better than my other robot so after having a successful test I got to work making the battery box to bolt onto the front of it and uh, I wanted to get this thing on the ground and drive it around and uh, I had an old Sabertooth 2x25 laying around from uh, the original build that I had in my other robot. My other robot has uh, had upgrades since then so I had this those electronics laying around so I use those just quickly to do a test. Um, I'm going to do another video going into the electronics. I'm going to put a two, Sabertooth 2x32 in here and use a different radio. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got an old Sabertooth 2x25 in there with this old Laser 6 um, radio. But... Okay, let's get this on the ground and drive it around, but let's weigh it up first and see how much it weighs. Yeah, it's about 120 pounds. So I'm pretty happy with it. It runs quiet and smooth. The tracks have good alignment. They don't slip on the drive wheels or anything like that. Um, all of the problems that I had with my first original robot have been solved and worked through in this one. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, Okay, so that's the basic build, and uh, stay tuned, we'll take this outside, do something with it, and uh, 
for now. Thanks for watching.